Hey Mini Enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back to part 32 of the Project ERA build. And you rejoin us here, just continuation from the last episode where Mark is just fitting hoses and cables under the bonnet. You'll notice there's no mini me down in the bottom right hand corner. And that's because this is quite an exciting episode. This is quite a lot of detail, a good look around the car, and Mark does a really great job of describing the work he's been up to and showing us what he's done. So I'm going to keep quiet. I'm going to stick some banging tunes on where there's quiet bits. Sit back and enjoy this week's update. Thanks for watching. Three hours, three hours, about mm -hmm. that. We got the uh, radiator and cowling in, um, but it's got to come out again. Oh, wait, oh, no. It's catching on the bottom of the cowling. How annoying. How annoying is that, Bo? It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Plenty of clearance at the top and the sides. It's just catching on the bottom. Oh, it's fine there. How important is it that that works? <laughs> uh, that is very important. So it's clear there, but there it ain't. I reckon I'm going to be cutting that fan blade down, to be honest. Or, Keith, I can just take off one of the blades. Be alright, won't it? <laughs> Worked alright on bolt. <laughs> That was easy, babe, wasn't it? <sighs> <laughs> right, we've we've finally done it all after nearly five hours, I think. <laughs> five hours. So the fan is not catching. I've had to actually bash this all the way down. Uh, basically, I've got some uh, panel grips on there and squashed that on the new one which I think someone's done on this one before because that's that's new weld that's new welding from what it was would have been new um it wasn't catching here it was just catching on the bottom so I've squeezed all that and now that's running free so that's good um when we were actually trying to get um the bolt in there the uh captive nut come off the other side so lucy's had a uh, small hands in there holding a, a nylock nut in there um and we've struggled to get the hose on as well how these people get these hoses on is beyond me but look no room i don't even know how we did that 
But it's all done. Um, well done, Lucy. update uh, to what I've been up to. Um, I haven't been recording a lot, I've just been uh, cleaning bits up, um, fanning around, putting stuff in, um, trying to sort the oil cooler out um, and just have a bit of peace. So I'll, I'll show you, I'll, I'll give you a walk around. Um, biggest problem I'm, I'm having is with the oil cooler, which I'll show you in a bit. So, um, I've well, I've got most of the engine uh, bits, pipe work, and that together. Uh, the water cooler is in. I've just got some new fittings coming because they're a bit corroded. Um, I've I was hunting high and low for the brackets for the oil cooler, which are there and there. And then, uh, two sacks, let me see what I'm doing. The oil cooler actually sits in there then, like so. Uh, so I'm just having a bit of trouble with the sender. I've got the uh, oil cooler pipes all cleaned up, so they'll go back in once I've managed to sort the sender. So the issue I'm having is, I'll just get the old one. This is the old one. Uh, had a sensor in there. Um, and obviously it's a bit tatty, so I've got a new one. I was recommended by Ian, let me just grab these to put a uh, 16 row in, these are 10 row. Uh, so he recommended putting a 16 row in. So I tried doing as that one was, it looked like they'd uh, brazed the, the, the fitting in. So I gave that a go, I just drilled that one uh, to see how I could, uh, whether I could um, thread Put a thread it to drill a hole and just thread it in. Um, so I messed that one up, so that's rubbish. That's the old um, water cooler. So then I bought another cooler, uh, successfully drilled and tapped that, but it's only two and a half mil thin alloy. Um, but then I went through all of that and that don't fit. So I've had to revert back to the 10 row uh, and I'm just I just uh, I successfully tapped uh, drill and tapped that in uh, I had it tight uh, just with PTFE but I wasn't happy fully with the seal so uh, I took it back out and it's it's that thin that it just kind of don't go in there anymore so now uh, Keith suggested maybe putting a rivnut in there, 
Uh, I've just got to find one big enough for that sender to go inside of it because I think that is probably the best solution to seal that and to be able to thread that in and get a, a decent uh, seal. So I'm having issues with that. So hopefully by the next time, well, within this week, I can get that sorted. So I've spent quite a lot of money on coolers. I've got one, two, it's my third one I'm on now. It's a bit of a pain. So obviously I've got the alternator in as well. Uh, you, I can't remember what was on uh, the previous videos. It's probably seen me messing around trying to get the fan uh, radio and cowling in. Um, huge issues with that when I was putting it in the um, I got all this in um, and the fan was catching on the bottom of the cowling uh, I took the got, I found the old one and it seemed like someone had squashed the bottom of the cowling to make the fan work uh, it's almost like the cowling wants to go down but it's obviously governed by the bracket at the bottom so I, I can't do anything with that so I did the same I've just crimped the bottom of the cowling and the fan before I put the alternating fan belt on it was free moving so that's that I've had some uh, big issues with the uh, thermostat held in sandwich plate don't know what happened there uh, yeah so I don't know whether you got that uh, so I've got this sandwich plate from mini spares the holes were too small they don't line up with the block uh, with, with the cylinder head so i've had to clean the old one up it was just really tatty so i've had to clean that up and now that fits okay uh, there was a split here all the way through on that um so i've had to weld that in uh respray that so that's all good uh i've got the boot uh, sorry, the bonnet release in now. I've had to get a modern uh, release catch. Uh, the, the the ERA cable is longer than a, than a conversion cable or an MPI cable or the earlier cable. I don't know where they got it from, but uh, so I've had to adapt it. Uh, the sheath was knackered on the old one, but the cable was okay. So I've Put the old cable in the new sheath added a bit on because the, the the sheath isn't long enough um and i heat shrink that together so that's good uh put the, the 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 bracket thing on the end of it heat shrink that on and so i've got a good bonnet catch uh release now uh what else have i done so everything is pretty much ready to go back together i'm just waiting for some more hose clips or Jubilee clips in stainless steel. Uh, so oil cooler, connect all the cables, oil filter, and I should be ready to fill everything up. Uh, I've not got any electrics on at the moment. There's only battery connected. Um, I've now done all the cavity uh, waxing with the Dynax stuff which you can see is what is dripping out of the seals. So I leave that overnight uh, and it's just clean the seals up. It's, it's just little drips underneath there. Um, so that's all good. What else have I done? I think that's pretty much it in there for now. Uh, the next step inside will be sort all the wiring out uh, I've got the dash all ready to go in, but the dials I'm supposed to get them refurbed by video. Um, and obviously because of um, COVID-19, they've they furloughed the production staff. So uh, I don't want to put it all in if in a couple of weeks they can sort the uh, new dials. Some of the dials are new. Some of the dials have got, um, they're putting new bezels and glass uh, and swapping some of the faces over. Um, because the, the the new faces are different to the old faces so yeah uh, so I can't do that yet on the rear I've got I've, I've found a new or new old stock rear wiper uh, I don't know if there's anything wrong with this but when it was taken off this 
element, this alloy here is all broken off uh, and it wasn't going to, together quick, uh, very well. So I, I found a new one. Um, Keith, I let Keith know where that come, what car it come from. It was a weird car, uh, Rover, but or Austin Rover. Uh, so that is now in. I haven't tested it. I'm assuming it works. I hope it does. So that's the rear wiper on. Uh, all the pipe, uh, all the tanks in, all the pipe that's connected. Uh, I've run all the cable in round uh, for obviously the wiper. It's earth there. Goes down, comes around there, goes down the back and f goes through to there to feed the fuel pump. All I've got to do in the boot is obviously put the battery in, put the boot on um and just do all the uh, carpet stuff in there so that's that i have got all the exhaust on i had some issues oh i still got a bit of a drip there just notice that uh i had some right issues with that fitting there uh, so I had to take it all apart, uh, get a different fitting. Uh, the uh, fitting, the connections that go into it, they, they, they weren't holding at all. I don't know why. Uh, so that's all been redone. I just need to nick that one up there. And if you can see that at all, fuel pump is in. Everything's connected on that. So exhaust is done. So that is everything done apart from um, the cavity, uh, you know, the um, the cavity wax type stuff on the underside. Uh, so in effect, it can now go down on wheels, but I'm just going to keep it off for now. So that is all done, which is good. Uh, yeah, so you can see all the cavity wax all dripping out there. Everything's done on the back end. I've got, so I've got the boot to do, doors, interior. I didn't want to do any of the carpets and stuff like that until I'd got all the cavity wax in, which I can obviously get on with the interior now. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Uh, I've also, so these were the original mirrors. Um, Obviously they were, they, were, they were sprayed black for some reason. Don't know why, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, so, sorry, these were the original ones. It's got that lovely objects in mirror are losing, which I wanted to keep. So I thought I'd spray the original mirrors, but the glass is absolutely poo, scratched to anything. And so I managed to find the stickers. Um, and because i'm sure you should be able to change the glass but i did have a go before i sprayed these i did have a go trying to get that lip apart but it, it's just plastic so it was just gonna it was just gonna um it was just making gouges in the plastic so i wasn't happy with the glass um and then i looked through a load of photos online of different eras and it seems like this lip or well, this rim was supposed to be black. Uh, it might be, I don't know whether it's different on all ERAs, but the ones I've seen, that rim was black. So I'd obviously sprayed the whole mirror. So again, I wasn't overly happy with that. So I just bought some new mirrors. Obviously perfect glass. Uh, when I sprayed them, I taped all the black rim up. And as you can see, they've actually come out all right. I've got new stickers, uh, objects in mirror are losing stickers. So I'm much happier with that now. Uh, I had to respray the door handles because there was, there was a little chip there and there. I know I've got to take these, uh, the push button and the cylinders out. Uh, I'll put the original, these aren't the original handles. So I'll take the, uh, I'll take these apart, take the originals apart and put the original locks in. So that's that, that's the bonnet badge, um, all sprayed 
in uh, Nimbus Grey with the Turbo Badge uh, sticker and the sunroof outer rim I've sandblasted that in the cabinet and resprayed that in Nimbus Grey so that's ready to go back on and yeah I think that I've got a new wiper and indicator stalks down there for the uh, steering column <coughs> Uh, got my ERA wheels back uh, curbed down in um, Brighton did these uh, I'm very happy with them they've obviously done the uh, ERA centre pieces as well they've got brand spanking new Nankang tyres they're the only ones I could get really uh, quite a reasonable price so that's them all ready to go on so yeah there's lots obviously got the doors still to make up there so there's lots still lots to do really um but i'm getting close to getting it down on wheels maybe putting some uh oil and water in and then i suppose i could get some electrics connected um and maybe get it started but i'd really rather keith was here when we were doing that but first and foremost i've got to sort this out first so yeah okay so that's it for me today can't really do a lot it's sunday I'm gonna go and watch a film uh and i'll get back on it next week <laughs>